bad logic, Andrew. You just heard a perfect example of a woman that was willing to sleep with a man within an hour. Her body count was zero. This is why men prefer younger women, easier, less oh, baggage. Gross. Yeah, but I, but I actually, gross. but I actually gross. brought that point up. That way, why is that correct? Said that men prefer younger women because they have yes, less baggage. Yes, that's. Yeah, that's a gross, 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 gross thing to say. No, gross, gross, gross. gross Gross to target younger women because they have... Le- it's predatory. How's it's how? extremely predatory. How? How's it predatory? And to how's target it younger women because they have less experience. So that's something t- that like target? abusers and groomers mm. purposely Wait, say they look for victims. Hold on, hold on. That hold on. are less experienced. So, so this is the feminist loaded yeah. language. So <laughs> so you use the term targeted. Predatory, mm-hmm. right? Yes. Loaded so terms. couldn't I just say that women? target wealthy and successful men and they're predatory for targeting wealthy and successful men who yeah. want a guy of high status could have certain uh, benefits to her and her children right so why is that any different than men preferring a younger woman who would be a better partner because she has could, she's not a could better partner because she's younger she's just easier baggage. to you manipulate that's genuinely that's genuinely a thing that happens. I could actually make this like other very, argument. Like very, very often. Actually, so I could make another argument. So a woman who's, say, 33 and still single, she is perhaps because of, you know, the time clock when it comes to pregnancy, look, you can get pregnant well into your late 30s, 40s. I can actually just make an, this argument about easier to manipulate a woman who's a little more pressed to get into a relationship She's easier to manipulate because she's like time's ticking. Yep. Yeah. And I can manipulate. Hold, hold on. Let me make the argument. Okay. Because of her greater urgency to enter into a relationship, she must be easier to manipulate. That example also sounds like you're a gross person. I think him sound but, predatory. But, but you're saying well, he's by saying virtue that of this somebody's... person is purposely manipulating a woman. That no, is he's not no. manipulating anything. I'm saying he used the word manipulation. No, no, no. You made the claim that younger women are easy to manipulate, but I could say that they are. Right. Hold on, I am making the argument that you could manipulate somebody at an older age for other reasons. Yes, that's also disgusting. And predatory, but also right, so that's, but but that's ju- also not an overwhelming problem in our society. But why do you jump to the Neither conclusion? Is age gap relationships. Why do you yeah, come, why is. do you jump to the conclusion well, that the, that a man who wants? We're not talking about that. It's, yeah, I'm talking it's about adults' that, relationships. So we're talking about right. eighteen. Okay, and over. so we'll talk fresh. They just turned eighteen. So can they vote? Yes, but your brain <laughs> yes, is not uh, fully developed. Uh, then why are you voting? Because it's different. How's so, that you can, so you can vote that, to affect my do life? Why, <laughs> do you know why that law is set into place and why 18 is considered an adult? It's so that they can enlist young people into the military because Wait, young, based on, because people, at 18 men. is when they are physically able to serve. No, nope. That is basically 16 year olds. It is not based off of... Oh, 18 is fully formed. Your brain is not fully Wait, formed so until 25. You're fine. Now, I'm not well, saying that any 26-year-old going for an 18-year-old is predatory and problematic. However, that is a big issue that I do see often. I do see a lot of women, young women, 18 women, fresh into the dating scene, getting taken advantage of by 30-year-olds. How do you Great. know that getting, is so what common. Evidence, what evidence do you have that they're getting taken advantage of? Sim, is it simply by virtue of them dating? Their experience. And they How speak about it. Experiences. And they speak about it. And abusers and groomers specifically have been interviewed and have talked about the fact that they go for younger women because they are easier to mold. You have to stop making every man as if they're like being a predator. Actually, I'm willing I to don't totally. Believe every man is. I'm totally Wait, but, willing to engage with this. But I, a lot. But it is I, not all men. Engaged. Not all. Not all men are abusers. Not all men are rapists. But a ma- yeah, overwhelming majority word. of women have had an exper- a negative experience with a man. Totally and agree. That is so, fact. So let's let's back up. I just I want to make sure I understand. Mm-hmm. When should women be considered adults? I think. Women should be considered an adult and making adult decisions probably around 25. Because of the prefrontal lobe? I would, because of the prefrontal lobe, mm-hmm. yes. The prefrontal lobe that begins degrading immediately after 25? I believe that hang on. a woman who's 25 lobe. is very different yeah, than a girl on, who's on. 18. That's, hang, they why? have wildly different viewpoints. Why are they different they have at wild, 25? They're in the prefrontal lobe. You, is also- are you an adult at 25 because your prefrontal lobe is fully developed? I would say that's a factor. It's also experience. It's a a 21-year-old is, is like a young adult. But experience but is arbitrary. You can have 19, 18-year-olds yeah. far more experienced than 25-year-olds. 
Yes, yeah. that so, is a factor so for because sure. Because that is so, there's no way that we could base adulthood on experience. There would be no test we could give for experience. No. So if you're looking for physicality, the prefrontal lobe is it? For physicality, yes. Well, then if that is the case, don't you think that women should not be able to vote until 25? I wouldn't say women shouldn't be able to vote. I would say... Well, we're talking about women being able to consent. So you don't think they should be able to consent until they're 25? I think voting... I, I'm not saying that no one can consent. I'm not saying no one can but vote. But I thought they weren't adults. I'm not saying that every single woman that is date, that is 30, who, she's 18, he's a 30-year-old. I'm not saying every single instance I'm not saying is that a either. woman getting I'm, taken listen, advantage I'm of. I'm just following your logic. Are they adults at 25 You're or not, before? You're not making be, a broad big statement. I'm are. saying this is a you problem are. that is happening. <laughs> there are men that yeah. are doing this. Not all men. So when are women not adults? When? When are they adults? Adults? I would say a human... I would consider an adult woman 25. If you consider them to only be adults at 25, why the fuck would you ever advocate that men or women can ever make any decision which would impact their life in the long term before the age of 25, including the, consenting to sex? Because that's just the world we live in. That's not that's an answer. Not and answer. also, but the age, the, age of, the, age of, the age of consent is also not 18. It's... Depends state to state. It's very, very different. I think an 18 year old having want six... sex with an 18 year old is very different than a 30 year old. Sure, having yeah, sex yeah we'll, with an we'll, go, we'll go with that. I think it's very, very different. Yeah, we'll dynamic. go with that. But if you're not smart enough or competent enough or experienced enough to make a decision about who you want to sleep with, regardless of their age, why the fuck would we give you consent to sleep with anyone? You're not experienced enough to have to make those decisions, right? Because it's not. It doesn't apply to all, and I'm not saying it applies to all. Again, I never said. I did said, say all. I've never said. I asked every you when all situation. women are adults. I guess okay. Then I'll rechange my statement. It depends on the person. It depends. So on how could you ever create a metric for it then? I think that people who are 25 should be going for people who are around the same age range. I think it's a very huge red flag uh -huh. when men who are 23 and older are going for 18 year olds. So they're graduating high school. So you think someone in high school should date someone who's a grown adult who has a nine to five job? When are they adults? It's weird. It's weird. That's Why is what it, I'm what makes it's it, gross. Can you give me an actual it. argument other than it gives me the ick? Like an actual argument for why this is wrong. Yes, it puts a lot of women in having that blanket. It puts a lot of women in very, very uncomfortable situations. <laughs> what are like the women? That Every relationship can do that. They are choosing to make that decision. Yeah, that, that doesn't mean that men that are purposely 30 years old targeting 18 year olds are not mm -hmm. a problem. Should, do you think, not a gross do you think being. that based on the fact just that just because they legally can? Okay. Do you think? Do you think that you should be able to outlaw it? No. Well, then how much of a problem could it be? Don't it's you usually outlaw behavior all that's I said problematic? Was gross. I do. I just disagree talk? with it. I can disagree with an opinion. That doesn't mean we're going to base a law off of my opinion. Okay, so you, I don't speak for an entire country. Okay, so you don't think I speak for me. So you, so, and I think that that's gross. Yeah, you just think it's icky. I think that's extremely icky. Yeah, sure, but you don't actually and have I an think argument. Any eighteen-year-old, nineteen-year-old women yeah, yeah. that are watching this podcast. I agree. I would steer clear from. Me I would say most men who are like 23 trying to date 18 year olds, it's because they're unable to get women their own age because they lack maturity. Do you, can you actually make a moral argument for why it would be wrong for a 30 year old man to date an 18 year old girl if they both consent to it? No, it's like a red flag. So it's not like, it's kind of like you were saying with like a flight attendant. It's a red flag because there is flight attendants that maybe aren't sleeping mm -hmm. with a bunch of guys, but there is a stereotype there that most of them are sleeping with a lot of guys. So, no, not all 30-year-olds who are dating 18-year-olds have negative intentions. However, I would say a lot do. There is a stereotype. Yeah, but about I would make it. There is a I'm going to give you the caveat distinction. I would say that a slight uh, or a flight attendant who is sleeping with a lot of men is doing something immoral. Right. Would you, you don't give think me? A 30 -year -old would you give me advantage of an eighteen? Yeah. So I'm like, asking. Oh, so I'm asking you to make moral argument like I just did. Right. That thing immoral. What about thirty year old with eighteen year olds actually immoral? When they're both consenting. The ick. fact that you don't on, see a problem say with it ick. is insane. Just say it's icky. It's insane to me. It's icky. It's. Insane what? to me. So it's a, oh, it's insane to me I, that it's insane to you. I'm a 23-year-old, and I would never date an 18-year-old in high school. I think that that's, that's crazy. You. That's not an adult. That's you. Well, first of all, at 18, they don't they have, have to be, be in high school. Have, what, do a, what does a 30-year-old have in common with an 18-year-old girl? Say, why can't they date listen, a woman Listen, why, why do you age? think that men and women have all this shit in common? They don't. 
They do. No, yeah. Me and my oh. partner have a lot in common. What do you have in common? Witchcraft. We're both hot. We both are artists. <laughs> There's a lot I have You're in You're both common artists. I oh, see well, we both. Soul. Okay, so then by this we criteria. We have very similar childhoods. Hang on, you ready? By this criteria, we both have jobs. We both drive in cars. We both walk down streets. We both, I guess we, hair. We, we, both, have both, we both have hair. We have very similar <laughs> passions. We have very <laughs> similar <laughs> desires. Yeah. We both have the same viewpoints on marriage. We both have the same viewpoints on polyamory. Mm-hmm. We both what do you do for fun? With him? No, what does or he do for general? fun that you don't do for fun? Video games. Yeah, he plays video games? I play video games too, but we play differently. Do you have the same friends? I'm friends with his friends, but they're yeah. his friends. What's like if, girl- we, if we broke up, I would never yeah, talk to him. What's the girliest friends. thing that you do that he doesn't do? I don't know because he lets me paint his nails. He puts uh, eyeliner on. Yeah. And honestly, well, okay, so the it's the most thing you attractive do. thing Excuse I've me? ever <laughs> Encountered. Yeah. And he's not a female. I was just joking. He but can if, put if, on eyeliner, if all and that is, doesn't make him less of a man. If all he's it is is a very secure of his masculinity. If all it is is the idea of a commonality of interest, then I would just give you the same argument back. We both drive cars. We both have jobs. We both do this. We both do that. We both do all these things. So we must have all this stuff in common. Mm-hmm. Not really. A commonality is not necessary between two people that they're interested in the same external things. That's not what creates a deep connection between human beings. For instance, if my wife really hated the type of food that I really liked, what the fuck would that have to do with us having anything in common? Nothing. Honestly, that would have no bearing on whether or not we deeply loved each other. Yeah, so the thing and I'm is, not sitting here and saying that there isn't 30-year-olds that are dating 18-year-olds and they have a healthy dynamic. I'm just but... looking for this idea. If you tell me a flight attendant's out there sleeping with many, many men, I'm mm-hmm. going to say that's immoral. Mm-hmm. I'm just asking you to say it's immoral for a 30-year-old to sleep with an 18-year-old and give me the justification for it. I, would, I wouldn't say it's immoral for them to sleep with an 18-year-old. So I would say 18. it's immoral if they're purposely targeting 18-year-olds. Okay. Why would that be immoral? Because they're purposely targeting women with lower experiences, oftentimes because they're easier to manipulate and control. Let's just assume for a second that that's true, that these men like to have women around that they can manipulate and control. So I think that that's a rough topic because a lot of the women that put themselves in those situations mm-hmm. come from very rough backgrounds. Yeah, I mean, and maybe. And so I think there is an argument to be love. made that maybe what if, if it's they had kink? more respect for themselves. <laughs> and there's kinks that i disagree with but Um, if you can't tell me why it's immoral and you can just say in a circumstance where this 30 year old is targeting an 18 year old mm -hmm. for nefarious purposes Mm -hmm. then i would make the counter argument that anybody targeting anybody for nefarious purposes it's immoral regardless of their age so if an 18 year old's targeting or a 30 year old's targeting an 18 year old for a long-standing relationship finds her to be beautiful sure i think it's just more what's the actual it's, issue there? it's more dangerous for an 18 year old woman and a 30 year old man than the other circumstances i mean why are they what's the danger? these are while these, it would be more dangerous oh, there's also benefits right I guess there's benefits to an 18 year old dating a 30 year old i would say overall for an overwhelming majority of people. Their round meatball donated $200. Thank you, Mr. Meatball. I'm on Appreciate team 30 it. and 18. All right, he's on team 30. And <laughs> it's really amazing because there actually are really compelling arguments against the age gap argument. But the people who feel the most firmly against it never give any. They just say, it's gross. And I'm just like, that. you can't base your life yeah. on what's gross. If so, then we would have outlawed all sorts of things that you, you know, probably like LGBTQ. A lot of people find that gross. Do you think that that's acceptable? I think that that's a very different topic. Do you think it's acceptable that they do? Because some people find a dick. So it's... it's they do. I, but I never once said we're going to outlaw 30-year-olds from dating 18-year-olds. I, I never agree. Once you said didn't. That. But if you, if you have the response of telling people, you shouldn't do this. You shouldn't. And you say, well, why? Why should? Because I think it's gross. Well, that's why it's, it sets a, a women up time, to be in very, very toxic dynamics. Well, essentially, this is just something that we essentially have seen. every relationship now is set up in a toxic dynamic because most of these marriages are ending in divorce. So they seem seem like, regardless of the age group, they they seem to be highly toxic because they're not lasting a long period of time. Mm-hmm. If you look at the UK, there's the office of statistics in the UK. They went through and they took all of the marriages that have ever happened ever in the UK, which included age gap marriages, to see if it was true that those types of relationships failed more than relationships within a similar age. 
they couldn't find any significant deviation whatsoever. Yeah, I would assume they wouldn't. Why? Because oftentimes the 18-year-old in question is getting groomed. Oh, well, this is interesting. They're getting groomed. Wait a second. But then I would expect to see those relationships work out more. Yeah, they would. They were. There's no significant deviation between the people who are engaged in a similar age relationship and those who are in this age gap relationship of 20 years or more, by the way. No significant difference. If it was true that those younger women were being groomed or something like this mm-hmm. and by some type of super predator who brainwashed them, I would expect that you would see those relationships have a much bigger longevity than similar age with the same experience, but you don't. That's mm-hmm. really weird. Hmm. So my grandma actually left my grandpa for a man that was 30 years younger than her. Mm -hmm. They stayed married for 55 years, and he he was right there at her deathbed. How old was she, and how old was he? He was, I think, 20, 21, and she was in her 40s, 50s, almost 50. Predator. Fucking predator. (laughs) Predator. And more two people more in love. I never said it was every single circumstance, but but I'm saying it's something that that we shouldn't... (laughs) Put pressure on. Back I have something a question. We shouldn't be putting out. We should, it's something we shouldn't be normalizing, in my personal opinion. If we're not normalizing it. We're just saying it. Well, I have a but question. But that's why I just each their own. Just a clarification, because I, I like when we when you guys talk and you want to define a word. So you keep saying the word grooming. Mm-hmm. So from what I know, what the word grooming is, it's taking someone and slowly acclimating them to get used to something that is immoral, gross, mm-hmm. disgusting. Mm-hmm. Right. There's no grooming happening because I am an adult. This per- both people are adults. Which grooming is why this is... An 18-year-old adult is, is an different adult. than a 30-year-old it's still adult an adult. in a lot of circumstances because it's, your prefrontal cont- uh, cortex has not developed. <laughs> okay. So but here, but here's, here's, still an adult. So let's get into the prefrontal mm-hmm. cortex because it's an argument often used by leftists. Would you agree with me that your brain development is highly dependent upon body nourishment? Yes. And do you agree that poor people have worse nourishment than rich people? Yes. So, so then I have to ask you, would you ever recommend that a rich person gets together with a poor person? Depends on the people and depends on the circumstances. But wait, wait. It's all about the prefrontal cortex. So I got to ask you. They if still this develop is, a prefrontal cortex. Yes, but not correctly. Right? Not correctly. So just based on nourishment alone by your argument. Okay, there could be women who are 25, if as long as they're just in a lower socioeconomic, you mm-hmm. know, position, mm-hmm. they should not be dating, or rich people should not be dating them, even if they're in the same age group, because they're. Well, it's, you don't this know is, that rich person's background. Do you have no idea what they're? Wait, sh- why would that not be icky though? If this person had all the right nourishment, so that their prefrontal cortex developed correctly, and then the person who had was poorer probably didn't have as good a nourishment, so it didn't. They could never be at the same level, even if they were 25, right? So they shouldn't date, right? I mean, right? That, there is a lot of circumstances where that does happen, and that is a big thing where women do get set up with financial abuse. They do get stuck in relationships where they are financially dependent. Who in your world? Yeah. Anyone can date anyone, but I can say that there's red flags and there's warnings, and women should protect themselves. I think women should have their own financial security set up when they're dating a man because you never know. You could be with a man for 20 years and then he divorces you. And if you don't have, you don't have, say you don't have a prenup, you don't have anything set up. You haven't worked the for red 20 flag, years. You're no, fucked. no, no. The red flag would be to the rich man, right? To say don't date poor women because their brain isn't developed correctly because their prefrontal cortex was stunted because they didn't get the correct nourishment. Well, most rich men don't want to date poor women. No, actually, au contraire, they don't care because they're looking not at the prefrontal cortex that they don't I, give a fuck about. I would about. disagree. They're looking at how hot they are. I would That's disagree. So and they don't care about I would money. Dis- because Wait. the social circles that rich people are in are very different Hold than on. the social circles so, that people 